It's Sunday the 17th of January 2016. This is a chart for Beach Energy. Um, I haven't followed Beach that closely for the last sort of two, two years or so. Um, I'm a bit, in, bit more interested now because I'm going to be a shareholder soon. I think the, um, you know, the drill search takeover will go through um, at the end of this month. So, you know, drill search uh, shareholders getting 1.25 Beach shares. Um, you know, Beach, it's always been sort of a, a steady company, I think. Um, and I think that they're really getting a good deal getting drill search, which I think is probably the better part of the, you know, will be the better parts of the combined business. Um, but I like Beach because I think the uh, they're in a position of strength relative to a lot of the other oil stocks at the moment, uh, especially the Australian oil stocks. You know, Santos and Origin are getting out of everything. Um, you know, Santos tried to get out of some of their Cooper Basin assets but couldn't sell them. Origin trying to get out of the Cooper Basin as well now. And Beach, the Beach Drill Search merger looks like the only company that can really pick up some of those Origin assets. You know, you've got a distressed seller and you've got a company with um, some good financial firepower and uh, experience in the area. So I think, you know, it would be in Beach's best interest to probably take up Origin's share of the, um, the Cooper Basin joint venture. On the chart, you know, Beach really has, has crumbled to these these um, early 2000 lows. So you can see here, that was a, this 40 cent level was a very important level for Beach for a long time, you know, four tests of that level in, in four years. So it practically did nothing for, for four years before finally breaking out in um, in late 2004 and really going on, a, on that massive run there. You know, so it's been quite volatile in that time. This move from $1.80 down to, um, to 90 cents, so you can see that this range has repeated a few times. So that was also the uh, the GFC type range as well. So it, it um, between 2008 and 2009. Um, and if you look at it again, you know, we've got we've had that earlier this year too. So from late last year to early this year, that 90 cent range. And again, we're looking to um, sort of almost finish that move again, if you believe that, that range there. And, you know, oil broke down you know, more than ever on um, on Friday night US time, like the sentiment is is at all time lows, I'd say almost. Um, so you, you're going, I think we're below $30 a barrel now. Um, but good thing in for, is for Beach that the Australian dollar also crumbled at the same time. So that that was down about a cent and a half in, on um, on Friday night. So that that helps the Australian production of Beach. Um, you know, it helps preserve their margins. They're still quite a low cost producer. And I think that, you know, even at $30 US, they're, they're at break even costs. Um, they'll have to trim back a lot of their their um, expansion capital um, and, you know, their, all their maintenance costs as well. But on a charting view, I think, you know, it looks like, you know, with that action on, on Friday in the US, it's 41 on the Friday, Friday close on the, on the Australian market. I could easily see it opening 38 or lower. Um, and you know, hitting those that, those mid thirty levels, um, you know, it's it's a point at which you want to dip your toes in the water. But I think I think Beach, if you have to, if you wanted to buy in the oil space, um, a company that was well cashed up and had the, you know, it's, Beach is not going broke, um, which is more than it can be said for something like uh, Origin or Santos, who've got all that debt. Not that I think they're going to go broke either, but they're in a lot a lot worse financial position than Beach, um, you know, and Beach. Beach looks to be the acquirer of choice now. You know, Kerry Stokes owned 20% of Beach, 20% of Drill Search, and he's he's bought he's bought Drill Search, and it looks like Beach is going to be the the vehicle by which he sort of acquires other other oil stocks at the bottom of the market. I think other oil assets, um, you know, companies like Cooper Energy and Senex look to be you know prime targets as well. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if Beach launched some sort of action for those companies too, and really tried to get a, a foothold in the um, the Australian East Coast gas market uh, in the next few years.